Thomas Partey at Manchester United. Before the video starts, make sure you subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and like and share the video if you enjoy it. I've always put a quiz question in the comment section below, so look down there and see if you can get the answer right. I've spoken about Partey before on this channel when I did a scout report on him a few months ago, so check it out if you want an in-depth analysis of the player, it'll be in the description, but in this video I'll just be talking about how Partey might fit into Solskjaer's side next season. So Partey is reported to have a £43 million release clause and has been linked with United over the last few days, so how would he fit into this United side? Well Solskjaer would either go with a diamond 4-4-2 system or a 4-3-3 system next season. He alternated between the two depending on different match specific tactics, though I do think the 4-3-3 is his preferred system and he'll look to build a side around that. Now in a 4-3-3 Partey could play two specific roles, either as a deep single pivot as the anchor man or as a box box midfielder ahead of a deeper line midfielder. This would obviously depend on who United bring in this summer. If someone like Tielemans came in then Partey would likely sit in that deeper row with Tielemans another midfielder ahead of him. If even Rakitic was brought in you could see the Croatian playing as a register in that deep position and Partey playing slightly higher up on the right side. So playing as a pivot, Partey would be a massive improvement on both Matic and Fred. Defensively, Partey would bring tackling ability and athleticism that Fred and Matic lack. We've seen so many times last season when either those two played, opposition sides were easily able to break through the midfield with a dynamic dribbler or quick into play that could beat Matic or Fred's laboured press. Whilst Fred is a decent defender when moving on to a player with his back to go, when a player is dribbling at him he often dives in or leaves himself flat footed and Matic has a turning circle of a London bus and cannot get across the pitch enough to plug those spaces when United press high. Partey would solve both of these issues. In La Liga he has made 2.1 tackles per game this season as well as 1.5 interceptions per game. If Solskjaer wanted a sole ball winning centre midfielder then Ndidi at Leicester would probably be a better option as Ndidi ranks second for tackles per game in the Premier League with 3.8 and joint most interceptions for a central midfielder with 2.2 per game. However, Partey is a superior ball playing midfielder than Ndidi which seems to be the key reason why Partey might be preferred to the Leicester man. A player playing as a deep pivot in a 4-3-3 or 4-4-2 diamond needs to be press resistant which means they can receive the ball with their back to go under pressure and be able to switch play or spin out and drive out of the press. Matic and Fred certainly struggle with this and it isn't really indeed his game whereas this is probably Partey's best attribute. In a 4-4-2 diamond system Partey could play in the pivot position as I just said or in a wide right central midfield role. In this position, the wide central midfielder needs to be fairly quick across the ground, have a good engine and be skilled in defending against quick wingers and fullbacks as he may be pulled out to cover the right back in that flank and must be good on the ball in terms of his passing and dribbling ability. Partey is definitely a more explosive dribbler than either Fred or Matic. He can make runs underlapping a wide player and receive the ball in a dangerous position or motor through a midfield in a similar way to how Suzoko did versus Ajax in the Champions League second leg when in the first half he was Tottenham's only real source of advance in the attack. Partey has 1.1 dribbles in La Liga per game this season, whilst Matic and Fred have 0.6 in the Premier League, which shows that Partey is a significantly better dribbler in terms of his ability to take on a play in central positions and would vastly improve United's ability to transition play via a dribble from midfield rather than relying on creative passes to break down an opposition side. So should Manchester United buy Partey? In my opinion they should, as it seems that Solskjaer will either play a 4-3-3 or a 4-4-2 diamond system and Partey would fit in seamlessly into either of these two systems as either a deep anchorman pivot in what is known as a Makaleli row or as a wide central midfielder row. It's similar to what Sissoko does for Tottenham. Partey isn't a young player, he'll be 26 by next season, but he will still give United 5-6 to six solid years and would be a vast improvement on Fred and Matic in central midfield, giving United the central explosive dribbling ability and defensive dynamism they lack at the moment. Also, the £43 million release clause will allow United to wrap up this deal early and get a top class player at a phenomenal price. Thank you for watching, if you liked the video, remember to like and share it and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and remember to answer the quiz question in the comment section below.